everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, okay? So the song that I kept hearing, as soon as I woke up, y'all know I connect with music, okay? Was that song by Fantasia, y'all, and I have not heard this song in years. It's called, uh, I think Baby Mom. about like balance it's like even though you're a balanced person okay emotionally you're trying to figure out how are you going to balance out your life with a significant other okay that's what i'm picking up on but i get that you all are really 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 strong the reason why that song keep coming up to me because you all here are you're this empress here okay and you know the empress they invited all the queens of the deck so you're very strong, you're very creative, you're business-minded, you're a nurturer, you're a great mother, okay, you're a great wife, you know, but I feel like you all are nervous, and I'm I'm just picking up on somebody that could have possibly been single for a very long time. It's not that, you know, you know you can't do it or balance it, it's like you're kind of nervous because you haven't been with anybody in like a, a serious relationship in a very long time. It's probably been just you. You know, if you don't have kids, then it's just, it's, it's just been you. If you have kids, it's just been you and your kids for a very long time. And, you know, you're kind of nervous. Some of you all might can feel like this love coming in that, you know, it's been coming out of my readings, you know, and I feel like you're nervous. You're like, oh, my God. Okay, it's here. Okay, you know, and, you know, it's kind of like a, I'm not going to say scared. I'm not going to say scared. You're not scared. I just feel like you just had, you're a little nervous, okay? Because you know, you had, it's just been you. It's been you or it's been you and your kids for a long time. And you just like, you know, you're sitting back thinking like, oh my God, like, you know, how, you know, how, you know, am I going to do this? Am I really ready for this? Yes. I want to let you know that you are ready for this. You know, don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Okay? Because whoever this is coming towards you, you know, know that you're strong. And it's like they know that you can do things by yourself, but they want to come in and they want to support you. They want to add on to what you already giving yourself because you being how you are is what's attracting them anyway. You're, you're, you being single, self-sufficient, you know, you um, doing things on your own is what's bringing this person in. You're not no leech. Even though you could be a single parent, okay, you do things by yourself on your own. You're not begging nobody. You make your own money, okay? You ain't using nobody. And it's like this person is attracted to that. Because what I'm getting is this person, you know, could have been, this person could have dealt with people that were users. They only wanted them for what they had or how things look, for clout, things like that. But you're different. You're very humble. You're appreciative. You could be the type of person. A, a person can give you a scar for some gloves. And you're going to wear the hell out of it. Okay? You're just very appreciative. And you're very humble. Okay? So this person knows that you're the type of person where you will, you know, you will, um, what am I trying to say? You're not uh, ungrateful. That's what I'm trying to say. You're not ungrateful. You're not an ungrateful person here. Okay, so this person know that they can build with you. This person know that it's genuine love when it comes to you. And they know that it's not 
love under conditions. Oh, well, this person loves me because I give them this ring or I give them this necklace or I give them this money or I give them this and give them that. No, this person knows that you're the type of person that's going to love them unconditionally. This person admires your strength. You, Like I said, you all could be very, very, very strong. Not only that, what I'm picking up on because spirit is... is putting certain situations that I went through in my head to bring out this message. So when I was working at this hospital, like I said in my readings before, I didn't have a whole lot of help. I'm the type of person where I have not had a whole lot of help in my life. I have I had to go through life doing a lot of things on my own. Okay, I have. It has made me strong. You know, it's times that I wish I did have support like that because it does take a village. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should have to go through life doing anything by themselves. That's not how God designed it to be. But, you know, we all have to, you know, deal, you know, deal with the cards that we're dealt and whatever. And that's just how I have, you know, been maneuvering through life. I make the best out of my situation. <clears throat> so I was working at the hospital. I was a surgical tech. I'm still a surgical tech, okay? I'm a surgical tech. I'm a medical assistant. Okay, it's plenty of things that I do, but I had to take my kids to work with me. Um, I worked in the OR, okay? So I had I had my, my daughter at the time was one, and my other daughter was seven. You know, I would have them in the break room. You know, I would have them sitting there while I was at work and all that kind of stuff like it had got so bad like i would ask my co-workers like could they help me you know with the kids and do this and that you know like i just you know was i just went through life having a hard time y'all it was it just made it a little bit more difficult not having anybody i still did the things that i wanted it just made it a little difficult okay i never let anything stop me any of my situations i let nothing stop me from doing it might have took me a little longer than a person that had help or support it might have took a little longer but it didn't stop me and i feel like that's y'all 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 are warriors it's been constantly coming out that you're in this warrior energy you're just the type of person that you don't let anything stop you or get you down no matter how long it take it could take you three years to get to something or complete a, a specific goal but the fact that you don't quit that's what that's what people admire about you it's like you you got this like hungry energy like you don't stop you don't stop i don't give a damn what happened y'all when i was going through surgical tech school y'all when my dad died i got my first car was my car my dad's car and it had started giving me problems y'all and like i was doing my my clinicals at uh the hospital in my hometown i had to be there at six i was a manager okay i was a manager and like i was working from two to eleven i went to school from seven um to 12 8 to 12 8 to 1 something like that and like i got off from school went straight to work worked from 2 to 11 and had to get right back up you know what i'm saying i was tired as hell but i didn't quit like my car stopped y'all on the expressway and i could not miss clinicals i had to be at school early as fuck in the morning okay i had to get uh one of my classmates my clinical director at the time had let one of my classmates come pick me up because she knew what was going on y'all it's like and this another thing when you're doing good in life when you're trying y'all when i tell you like it's like the more you do good the more you try to do well in your life the the harder the attacks be okay the harder the attacks be the more you try to change your life around the more you try to do good the harder the attacks be and like you just got to keep on pushing and keep on going and you got to stay prayed up okay because god is what's going to help you keep on pushing okay because i'm telling you without god i I'm, probably would have gave up and checked out i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> i can't even lie to you because it's been so much that doesn't happen it's like damn what the fuck like every time i try to do something something always happening whatever but y'all guess what i graduated i didn't let nothing stop me my car you know broke down on the expressway <laughs> i can laugh at the situation now but at the time y'all it was getting to me i promise you, it was getting to me because i'm like oh my god like life don't supposed to be this hard like what is it like i'm trying i'm talking about and i've always been the type of person that 
hey get up and go about myself like i always wanted to do something okay i, I have never been lazy ever in my life ever i'm talking about i started working early i started working in high school at this restaurant i think at like 15 or 16 y'all i've been working ever since i've never been lazy at all okay i always had this drive and whatever in me you know it's just like it's just things in life just kept happening like to get me down or something I'm like, at one point i almost thought i was cursed you know what i'm saying but in like a reading i did before i said it got to be a calling on my life. It got to be a higher purpose because what, you know, God wouldn't have all these things happen to me if it wasn't, you know? And it's like, now I'm starting to see like, why? Okay. Why certain things happen to me? Okay. Cause I consider myself as a warrior cause I done been through so much, but it's like, I have got through everything. Like when I look back on my life and I realize all the things that I have been through, all the things I have overcome, I look at myself as a, a real true warrior. Because some of the things I done had to endure and had to go through, y'all, I'm telling you, the next person probably would have took themselves out. And I still come out on top and rise from the ashes like ain't nothing happened. Okay? And I feel like this, y'all. Y'all got so much strength. You're strong. And like whoever this person is, it's like they love that shit about you. They love it. They love it they love it and other people could be wondering like what is it about this person that you like what is it about this person that you want this person might not have such and such of this and that it's not that it's the, it's the it's the fact that you're so strong the fact that you don't give up like no matter how long something might take you you still gonna get what you want even if it take long like you ain't out here begging nobody you ain't begging them. If you got a business, you're not the type of person out here begging people to, to, to support your business. You do the promotion. If, if people fuck with it, they fuck with it. If they don't, they don't. That's just how you are. You ain't asking nobody. You ain't begging nobody to do nothing for you. You self-made. You do everything on your own. And that's what this person like. Okay? You may not even be the richest person in the world. You know what I'm saying? But they love you, though. They love everything about you. You can have people not understanding like why her? Like this keep coming up. Why her? Why her? Like why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Because I feel like you all are very beautiful. You know, you all could have went through something in your life and whatever, but everything has a purpose. Everything happens for a reason and whatever. And it's like this person sees things in you. I feel like the other people see things in you too it's just that they're hating okay they're hating you know like i said some people are so superficial so so many people be worried about the material stuff like the gold chains the jewelry the the uh designer stuff and whatever you know what i'm saying <clears throat> But this person that's coming towards you see past all of that. They don't they don't care about that. They see your soul. They you know what I'm saying? They see your drive. They see your love. Your love. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because the people that go through the most love the most. They love the hardest. You know, nothing in life ever made you bitter. You still was able to love even after you got hurt or heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Even if you didn't hardly have much. I feel like you're the type of person to still try to go out and help people, you know, because you don't want people to feel how you feel. You know how it feel not to have support, so you try to support people. You know how it feel not to have love from people like that, so you try to give the best love because you don't want other people to know what it feels like not to have love. You want them to know that it's real, genuine, unconditional love out here. You know what I'm saying? And then back to the song that fantasia song like i'm telling you you all could have just had so many struggles in your life and it's like you have overcame everything okay people could have laughed at you they could have talked about you they could have wanted you to stay down okay but like i said everything that happened to you happened for a reason and whatever okay and like you coming you coming back stronger than ever okay stronger than ever yeah I, not only is it coming out that you're the empress right here but you can have this person and different people like i said admiring you 
And like you bring people happiness when people look at you, when they watch you, when they hear you, it's like you motivate them, you inspire them. And you bring these people, this person happiness. Yeah, because you, it's like you and this queen of wands energy here. You're very positive, very outspoken. Okay, and people love that about you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like people are obsessed with your energy. Like they're so, it's like people can't stop watching you. Even people that don't even like you like that, it's like they can't stop watching you because they even admired about you but these people it's like they're just mad because they can't they can't duplicate your energy because you're authentic okay you can't be duplicated yeah and you can have people that did you wrong that, that's like trying to hold on to you and everything you know what i'm saying you got somebody definitely from your past that's holding on to you that wants you yeah you all got new beginnings new love success everything coming in you know what i'm saying i feel like everything that you went through you know what i'm saying just made you prepare for whatever this is that you're in now okay because you know like you say new levels new devils so you know what i'm saying you you could have been the type of person that worried or cared about what people think maybe god had to strengthen you in some areas to get you prepared for this because it's like the more you rise to the top the more people gonna hate you know what I'm saying? You're going to have more haters. And you got to be mentally strong to deal with certain things. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because things definitely turned around for you with this will of fortune. Elevation of money. Um, you definitely, I feel like, completed out a hard cycle. But the cycle that you're in now is like plenty of blessings. Plenty of blessings. Some of you all could be traveling or you're getting ready to travel here. But definitely it's saying elevation of money and um it says overseas trip some of you all could be traveling overseas or something okay yeah emperor coming up so you all definitely i'm telling this person that's inspired by you this person that's admiring you is this emperor and this person is uh coming in it's what i'm getting to y'all with you all come with this coming out as a single parent I don't know why I'm getting that this person know that you do things by yourself, but they want to come in and like take a burden off. It's like they want to help you in some way. Yeah, this child. Yes, this is exactly what this is. Like this person, it's like they want to come in and like help you in some way. So like you all could be so don't be so strong, y'all, and independent to where you reject this help. You know, because I ain't gonna lie in the past, y'all. Even though I used to always say, man, I wish I had somebody to support me. You know what I'm saying? And like, make it a little easier. I It's like, I didn't have pride. It's just like, I didn't want to feel like a charity case. So it's like, if 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 somebody was to try to, Spirit said, that's the truth. So some of you all could can relate to this. Some of you all, you're the type of person where you, if you feel like somebody giving you something or coming in to help you, you feel like a charity case. So you'd be like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to do it on my own don't feel that way don't feel that way i felt like that for a long time y'all i ain't gonna lie i feel like that for a long i'm like is this person fucking with me because they feel sorry for me or they genuinely you know what i'm saying just want to help me because i can do stuff on my own you know what i'm saying like and for a while i was like that i can't even lie i'm like i don't want nobody to feel sorry for me because you know you know what i'm saying i don't want nobody to fuck with me because they feel sorry for me you know what I'm saying? Like, if you help, help me out the kindness of your heart, but don't do it because, you know, you you looking at me as like a charity case or something like that. I feel like that's how some of y'all were. So it's like, you you would rather just do shit on your own. Like, if it take you three years to do something, you would rather do that shit for three years than for somebody to be like, her, I'm going to help you with such and such. And then you get it right away. Don't be that way, y'all. Okay, don't be that way. Don't be that way. Don't be that way because spirit, I'm telling you, it's gonna send somebody in your life that's gonna like help you, okay? And it's gonna make it easier. Something that could have took you a really long time to do, it's gonna make it easier for you, okay? Let whoever this is help you and assist you. Don't 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 be too strong or you know don't have this pride and be like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna do it on my own because it's not like that. I don't feel like this person coming into your life because they see you as a charity case they don't this person know you strong this person know you can do things on your own you can handle yourself but everybody needs help every you know what i'm saying like i said people everybody needs a village if you're a single parent and you've been doing everything on your own okay somebody want to help you let them help you let them help you 
Okay, because I ain't going to lie. Um, it's been times where, like like I said, I had to bring my kids with me to, to work. I worked in the OR, y'all, and I had to stop doing surgical tech because the job that I had, I worked overnight on the weekend. You know, it's hard to find people to keep kids on the weekend overnight. Okay? And, like, I had to bring them to work until I couldn't bring them to work with me no more. So I stopped doing surgical tech and started doing security. I became, like, the supervisor of, like, the security company. When I say I do everything, y'all, I mean that shit. I, I feel like they could be y'all. Y'all could do a little bit of everything. Like, I done did CNA. I done did surgical tech, medical assisting, okay, phlebotomy. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I have been a coordinator. Uh, I worked at this company, and I was the coordinator, okay? I have had plenty of managing positions. I ain't gonna lie. I, I just done did so much. You know what I'm saying? I done did armed security. Um, I done worked in retail. I done did so much stuff, y'all. I just feel like you are the type of person where you can literally do anything, Literally, you can do you can do any and everything. Okay, so I feel like that's what this person sees in you. Okay, so don't look at it. This person looking at you is like a charity case, and I no, it's not. And I'm telling you, when I split the deck, it got ace of wands, new beginnings, birth, new ideas, creation. Okay, child, I can't make this up. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. Security helping hand like the divine, I'm telling you, has his ways of bringing you in some type of assistance or help. Okay? And that's what my cards say, y'all. I can't make this up, y'all. I'm telling you. On my Ace of Cups, it says security and helping hand. The divine want to help you and bring you in some type of assistance. Yeah, you just nine of pentacles. You do things on your own. You're very independent. But the time is out for that. You finna get ready to get a partner. You finna get ready to get new love in your life. You finna get ready to have somebody that supports you. That's gonna make it easier for you. You don't have to do everything on your own. You don't have to go through life doing everything by yourself. Okay? It makes it easier when you have some assistance. Okay? That's like you having a supportive mother and father. Okay? They know that you're trying to go to medical school or something. You know what I'm saying? But you got kids. And it's making it a little hard. It makes it easier when you got somebody to be like, look, I get the kids for you. You study. You study. You go to school. I got you. Versus someone that got the study in their car. Or, or you know what I'm saying? They got to take they sneak and take their kids to school. Or they got to sneak and take their kids to work. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to have to do that. You finna have, I'm telling you, nine of cups. Because somebody see you as wish fulfillment. They see it in you. Res you know what I'm saying? Take this help, okay? This person love you. This person is going to love you, okay? This person is going to love you. I'm telling you. Yeah, strength. Y'all, my car is backing me up because I started this reading without my cars. Half of this reading, I didn't even use my cars because spirit been talking to, talking through me. The strength card came out just confirming everything that I just said. The strength. It says inner strength. You're strong. And on this card, you got this lion up here. That's y'all. That's y'all. I'm telling y'all so strong, man. It don't make no sense. And this person see this with you. This person see, they feel like they can have a, 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 a happy, stable, successful life with you. With this Ten of Cups, I'm telling you. Yeah. Child, I can't make it up. Spirit is coming back, clarifying everything that I said. Ace of Pentacles. Money coming. Divine wish being granted. If you all been, if the only thing you've been missing out your life is love, you're getting it. Somebody is going to come into your life that's going to love you unconditionally. They're going to give you the love that you give out to others. Not only that, the drive and the motivation that you had, this person loved that shit about you. You all could have the type of hustling like a man. Like for my women, like you all can hustle like a fucking man. Do you hear me? This person like that. Like you ain't got to be out here selling ass. I mean, it's. I don't judge. So if that's somebody profession, I'm not trying to offend you. If that's what you do, that's what you do, baby. Get it how you live. But what I'm saying is you don't have to do that, though. You're just the type of person you, you do things in like a, a, a honest way. OK, you'll get out here and cut some motherfucking grass if you got to to get some money. You will wash some cars, whatever it is that you got to do, you're going to do it. OK, to make some money. 
Okay, like me right now, y'all. I told y'all I'm a surgical tech. I'm a medical assistant. I work at the hospital. Not only that, I'm you know I make my money doing tarot. I do that. Okay, I still even door dash, y'all. I, I don't, my pride ain't too high to do shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some money. I ain't lying to you. I'm gonna make some money any way that I can. Okay, my pride ain't too high to do shit. I'm gonna make some money. I'm gonna do everything that I can do to make me some money. And that's just dead on that. And you can have people watching you too. You can have a whole lot of people watching you. I feel like at this current time, like everything that you did work hard for, like it, it, it's coming in now. Child, you got this person want to take a action. But I'm, what I'm also getting y'all when I said that you all can have like this, this, you all could, some of you all might come up in readings as the emperor or king. It's because you all could be like so much in your masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? You all could just be like, a, you can have like this boss energy. Okay, you you just do things a lot on your own. Okay, tarot it does it doesn't have gender. Okay, so a woman could come out as the emperor or queen of wands as well. Okay, energy you could be just more in your masculine energy. Okay, but yeah, I just feel, but I do get that um, you all here could be very ambitious very driven and that's what this person like but this person gonna take action towards you though i feel like whoever this is this, this is this king of wands energy is gonna take action because you know king of wands is all about action and this person is like um manifesting you yeah because this person feel like they can have stability with you with this four of wands here yeah they definitely can and they want to take a leap of faith towards you i feel like this person has watched you for a while that page of swords, I feel like that's that person that watched you for a while. This person wanted to see, because people could have been, been lying on you. People could have been saying that you was lazy. But, you know, like that song I kept picking up on yesterday, um, I kept hearing it. You don't know my story. It's a um, gospel song. You don't know my story. People don't know your story, so they don't know what, what done went on behind the scenes in your life. They don't know all the struggles you had, but shit, you make that shit look easy because people probably didn't even know what you was going through. You just made it look easy. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like I said, I was, I'm was i a surgical tech. You know what I'm saying? I work in the healthcare field, and there's times where I had to sneak my kids in the hospital and work with me. I ain't gonna lie. I had to stop working in the hospital to do security because I could... I could literally um, have my kids riding around with me when I went to go check these people's properties and whatever, you know. But like I said, I just I just made the best out of my situation. I ain't never been lazy at all, and I ain't never been out here bad. Can't nobody say I begged them. Can't nobody ever say I begged them for a fucking dollar. You hear me? I never have. I ain't, I ain't, I've never, and I'm a pretty girl. This the thing, y'all. I'm a pretty girl. I'm pretty. And I know this. I got a nice body, all that. I know for a fact I could be one of these women out here that use men for money. I could I could literally get get with men just for money. I that ain't me though. That ain't me. That ain't never been me. I ain't finna use no motherfucker for what they got. That ain't me. Never been that way never been that way ever in my life never in my life you know what i'm saying i don't even want nobody to feel like they can buy me because you can't buy me i don't i don't care about your damn money how is your heart how is your soul how are you gonna treat me how you gonna treat my kids you know what i'm saying what's gonna happen if i fall ill you gonna be here for me fuck your money that's been me my whole life. You know what I'm saying? People probably can't even understand that. You struggle? Why you didn't get such and such for their money? Fuck his money. I can make my own money. It might not be as much as the next person, but I'm going to make my own money. I ain't going to use nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here hoeing. I ain't doing that. I don't want nobody for what they got. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's why this person want you. Because they see that in you. They know this. They know it. And they know they can build with you. They know they can trust you. They know you're faithful. You're loyal. You're kind. You give the best love. You're strong. 
And they need that type of person in their life. That's You're the type of person that this, this person has prayed for. And they finna get ready to take a leap of faith towards you. Okay? And for, for all of my um, single moms, keep doing your thing. Okay? Because I feel like, you know, this your winning season. A child, I can't make it up. With the world here. It says money, luck, world in the palm of your hand, new opportunities. I can't, love her so much child 2023 i'm telling you everything is is going good for you i feel like as soon as the new year hit you start getting good news on stuff i'm telling i keep picking up on y'all got businesses and stuff like that new opportunities definitely businesses you know what i'm saying i know mine is i ain't even gonna lie to you last year i started a business but i really i really didn't have the money and stuff to put into it like that you know Towards the end of the year, starts, stuff started going really well for me. Towards the end of the year. Because like I said, la last year, and let me see, the end of 2021 is when I became homeless. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want the COVID vaccine. And like I couldn't work in healthcare. You know what I'm saying? But I did work in a warehouse and stuff for a little while. And all that. And I door dash. Because you know, like I said, I ain't lazy now. But yeah, people look at you as this star. You you're very inspiring. And you know what I'm saying? People can hear you and listen to your story and like you motivate people not to give up or not to quit. People can be can go through shit and they can hear you and be like, damn, I, I'm up here complaining about the shit I'm going through. And this person went through all that and they still got a smile on their face. They still loving. I feel like you're very inspiring, very motivating. And this person loved that about you. And that's why this person want with this ace of wands, they want this new beginning with you. Yeah. People could be wanting to work with you, partner with you in some way, like with business. I feel like you all have different suitors. People could just want, they feel like you, you would make the perfect partner for them. This in love and in business. People see you. You this star. I feel like you could have been in hermit mode for a while, but I feel like you're popping out and you're showing the real you. You know what I'm saying? You're showing the real you, and people love it. You ain't gotta fake nothing. You're you're true to yourself. You're gonna be and and can't nobody tell your story like you. Remember that. Can't nobody tell your story like you can. Okay, I'm I'm getting so many messages, y'all. So I know I'm bouncing around a little bit. But these are the different things that's constantly coming to my head, though. Okay? Can't nobody tell your story like you. You can have people that can be speculating on what they think going on behind the scenes. But can't nobody tell it like you. Okay? They can't. If people want to know what's going on with you, all they got to do is ask. Because I feel like y'all the type, you ain't going to sugarcoat nothing like me. Child, I don't sugarcoat nothing. I was at the homeless shelter, y'all. I swear, we had a curfew at 6 o'clock. And, like, we couldn't bring outside food in. So, I sh I can laugh about it now. But at the time, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, they had a vending machine at the homeless shelter. We homeless. I mean, even though I do a dash to make money and whatever at the time. But they didn't let you bring in outside food at the homeless shelter. Okay? And then they, I think, the people in the inside that didn't, like, have a car or could go anywhere and stuff like that, their last meal was, like, at 4 o'clock, okay? So, if you didn't eat at 4 o'clock, you couldn't eat the next day until, like, 6 in the morning. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, the, the average person fixed dinner at, like, 6 or something like that. It's sometimes 7 or 8. So, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I had to sneak because <laughs> it was in the winter time when I was homeless y'all and like um it was cold real real cold it was like january february like around this time and like i would keep like lunch meat bread and all that in my car because i knew it wouldn't go bad it was in the cold ass car but i would make sandwiches for me and my daughter and i would like sneak it in because they that's one thing that i didn't like and that's one of the things that i said that i wanted to try to bring awareness of because like why can't you bring in outside food at a homeless shelter like can you feed people last meal at four o'clock so for the rest of the day all through the night they hungry and then you don't give them any food until six o'clock in the morning you know what I'm saying? I made notes on a whole lot of stuff because I was in the inside seeing how stuff was ran. And, like, they make so much money in these homeless shelters, y'all. 
and like some of the stuff that they do i didn't like and i was like man i want to i want to like bring awareness to some of the shit that they do in these homeless shelters some people were sleeping on the floor like all this money you getting why is anybody sleeping on the floor if you asked for a cup of ice you couldn't get it you know what i'm saying uh some people got sick off the food i didn't eat anything and i ain't gonna lie i was just thankful that i did have a car and i could get around i could still work i could still do things but I didn't eat anything in there. Like, I didn't like that. Like, spoiled food or stuff like that. You know, I didn't, I didn't, uh-uh. Okay, but I used to sneak food in, in my coat and whatever. Because we, we always had to go through, like, a metal detector and all that kind of stuff. And, like, I remember one day I had asked um, the people that worked there. I was like, um, is there any way I can bring in food for my daughter? I was like, because the last meal is at four o'clock, our curfew at six, and I don't want her to go through, you know, the whole night not being able to eat anything. Like, they did not let us bring in anything, y'all. And, like, the time where they did, the one time they did let the mothers bring in food, y'all, I'll never forget this shit. I had, I brought in some vegetables, uh, fruits, um, and I think I had, like, uh, cereal sandwich meat and like little stuff like that this woman let us bring in food and she went on vacation for a whole week and we didn't have access to any of our food by the time she came back the shit was spoiled you talking about piss it's 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 little things like that and then not only that when you're sleeping in the morning they will come in like you're in a prison like they will come in, oh, child. Why am I talking? Maybe it's a reason why I'm meant to talk about this. I don't know, spirit. But anyway, they will come in because breakfast is at six o'clock. They'll cut the light on while you sleep and like bang on shit. Get up, get up, get up. I was like, is this a homeless shelter? Is this a fucking prison? Like, what the fuck going on? Okay, like, and that's how they did it, y'all. Like, they cut on the fucking light, like, when you sleep. You know what I'm saying? And they would like, get up, get up, get up, get up. And then, if you didn't want to eat the food, you had to go stand outside. Like, you had to go stand outside, like, why people was eating and all that kind of stuff like you couldn't you know you couldn't stay sleep if you wanted to like everybody had to like get up and all that kind of stuff like early as hell in the morning like i think it like yeah like five something six o'clock yeah like five or six o'clock something like that and whatever and then they had lunch at 10 o'clock and dinner at four and you had to be in at six if you was not inside the building at six you get locked out the homeless shelter which i understand the curfew part but not the eating part like why would you make the last meal at four o'clock you know what i'm saying and then you don't let us bring in outside food but we can buy food from y'all it, it, it didn't make sense y'all it, it just didn't make sense to me i don't know why i was called to share that part maybe it was just meant for me to share some of my experiences on what i done been through and some of the things i had to like literally go through but y'all i ain't gonna lie like i have been through a lot i feel like some of y'all been some of y'all could have been homeless but you know all of us got a story all of us got a story to tell but like i said yesterday um, your test is going to be a testimony because people are going to want to hear you. They're going to hear your story and your story is going to help other people. I've, I've been talking for 38 minutes, y'all, and I was not trying to talk that long. <laughs> I was not trying to talk that long, y'all. Okay, I was not trying to talk that long. But, um, yeah, I feel like y'all just very strong. Whoever this man is coming in towards you, I'm telling you. Child. I can't, I can't even make this up if I try. I just picked this deck back up, y'all. And and the emperor popped out. This emperor coming in towards you. This emperor, <laughs> this emperor coming in towards you, y'all. I'm telling you, this person, they see you as, I'm telling you, happy. you ain't ungrateful. It's like everything that you've been through, man, it humbled you. So it's like the money and everything, the success that you're getting ready to get, you're humble. So God know that you're going to do good with the things that you got now or you're getting ready to get. You can get $100,000, $500,000, a million dollars, and you ain't going to run through that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to give back. You're going to give back. You're going to help people. Okay? They know that. 
They know you ain't going to get $100,000 and all you got is $200,000. But because of how you want people to look at you, you're going to spend a hundred other thousand dollars on a chain because you want to look rich instead of investing it and putting it in some shit that's going to help, 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 um, help stuff grow. Okay. That's why this person wants you. Because this person knows that you're going to appreciate whatever it is that they give you. You're going to appreciate that shit versus an ungrateful ass motherfucker. This person could have been dealing with somebody that was very ungrateful. They could help them do whatever. And this person was still ungrateful and it still was not enough. But with you, they know that you're humble and you're going to be, you know what I'm saying, appreciative of it. Like I said, somebody can give me a pack of socks, y'all. And I'd be like, shit, I need them socks anyway, shit. Y'all know I be cold. Y'all know I'm a little anemic. <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person sees you as their divine counterpart, the empress. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm, I'm And I know I'm pretty. This is the thing. I know I'm pretty. I know I'm, I know I'm a beautiful person. Not just on the outside, but the inside. I was struggling. Don't you know? It's plenty of men out here that's willing to trick off. That's willing to take care of a motherfucker, get their money. But I ain't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I want I want to love somebody. I want them to love me. I don't want to be with somebody because of their money and what they can do for me. I wanted the shit to be genuine. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to know that I can do things on my own. You know? But now I know I can do things on my own. But goddamn, I'm like, shit, you know. It's nice to know that, you know, somebody cares. And then, you know, they love you. And then they see something in you. They see that drive in you, the motivation in you and whatever. Yeah, somebody see you as a very balanced person. They can see you as very balanced. Because I'm telling you that song, you don't know my story. People don't know your story. People don't know everything that you've been through, man. They don't know. And they be looking at you thinking stuff easy. They be speculating. They don't even be knowing what, what be going on. I told y'all once before, I had to, right before I had left my apartment in Texas, I was taking pictures. I was smiling. Nobody knew what was going on. No, Nobody knew I was on the verge of being homeless. I told y'all my lights was out. I had killed my account because I wasn't working. And I was trying to pay that high ass rent in texas out of my savings i because i had saved a whole lot of money when i was working but you know i was paying all my bills out of my savings account and all that kind of stuff and like i had got so behind and i had started dashing and whatever but like even with doordash you know it was kind of hard to catch up because i had got so far behind you know and um child i had that ring like i think i said i mentioned that before I had the ring light and whatever, and I had light for me and my kids, but we didn't have hot water. The water was cold because, you know, the electricity and stuff was out. But, like, when I post that picture, people wouldn't even know that was my circumstances, y'all. They wouldn't even know. You know what I'm saying? So, people be thinking they be knowing you. They be thinking they be knowing your life, the things that you have been through, who you are. And they don't be knowing shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't be knowing because I know people don't be knowing nothing about me. I'm a very private person. And it ain't because I have tried to hide anything. I ain't going to, I'm I'm not going to hide nothing. If you ask me, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a fuck if, if I was out here hoeing. If that's what I did, then that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a past. Everybody got a story. You know what I'm saying? And if you ask me, damn, you was really in a shelter? Yeah. Yeah. It had to sneak food in and everything. Make sense. Had to leave food in my car. Had, you know, all that kind of stuff. You had to take your kids in the OI and sneak them at work. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. Because I was alone a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? I did. I did a lot of stuff on my own. But the Empress keep coming out in the Ace of Cups. And I done shuffled it. I don't know how many times. Somebody is coming towards you, Empress, and they coming in with this Ace of Cups, and it's strictly from the divine. Whoever this person is coming towards you, I'm telling you, this, it's like y'all going to be wish fulfillment for each other. This person is so inspired by you, I can't even lie to star. I keep saying the star card, the star card right here. Yeah. 
this person see you as a star i'm telling you this person's so inspired by you not a, not not just this person i feel like with this seven of cups here i feel like that's just different people watching you you got different people watching you because people like wow damn i ain't know i didn't i didn't know i wouldn't have known you know what i'm saying no you wouldn't have known Whatever I go through, I make it look easy. I make everything I go through look uh everything I go through, I make it look easy. Yeah. Even when I was in the psychiatric ward at that time, because shit, I didn't know how to ha I didn't know how to balance my emotions without with all the stuff was going on in my life at one point. One point in my life, I didn't know how to handle all the things that was going on. Now I do. Spirituality helped me. Me getting closer to God helped me. Okay? I don't, child, I can't tell you where I got this strength from, but I'm strong as hell. I know that. You know what I'm saying? But people don't know that, child. I, I, at one point, I did want to take myself out because there was so much stuff going on in my life, and I couldn't understand it. At the, at the time, I couldn't understand it. I didn't know what was going on. Like, God, why? I'm such a loving person. I'm so good. I don't do bad by people. I'm trying. Why is all these things happening to me? Because at that time, I, I didn't know why. Shit, I didn't know why. I felt cursed. I'm like, damn, what is it? You know? How can a good person go through all this stuff? Is what I was wondering. You know? But now I know why. Now I do. But at the time, I did not ready to take myself out. I was in the psychiatric ward for two weeks. And when I was in the psychiatric ward, y'all, um, child, we, I don't even think we had no shower curtains in there because, you know, the water trickled very little. Like, we couldn't use pencils, ink pens. We only could use crayons. Um, I don't know. At that moment, I realized I wasn't alone. Like, I had people there that was going through the, some of the same things. And it made me not feel alone because I knew that it was people going through some of the same things that I were, you know. Um, I don't know. That moment, I don't know. It made me look at things differently. And I, and I, I told y'all, I promised myself that no matter what happened in my life, I would never be that low again. So now when things happen to me, y'all... I was like, shit, okay, oh well, oh well. But at that time, y'all ain't gonna lie, I was so low. I was at a very low place to a point where I didn't want to live no more. I didn't. I didn't, y'all. Okay, and I and like some of you all might have been that low in your life, but I feel like spirituality could have saved you. Because I feel like the people that watch me, I feel like we're all connected. I feel like we have some of the similar stories, which is why I feel like God and spirit be having me share certain things with y'all okay not only that i just feel like it's your time to show the real you speak your truth your story can help other people it can motivate other people it can inspire other people you know what i'm saying so i don't know but you do got somebody coming in that's gonna love the shit at you okay it's, it's gonna be beautiful this person i'm telling you it's like you the type of person that, that they have prayed for vice versa you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna get ready to go in here to work real quick i did not mean to talk to y'all for 48 minutes but i guess this this was meant to this was meant for somebody though okay it was meant for somebody i, I had to tell y'all this for this reading here okay but um i hope this resonated in some way okay continue to be strong 2020 2023 y'all is up you hear me it is up it is up it is up it is up <laughs> okay and remember like i said can't nobody tell your story like you people can watch you and speculate they don't be knowing what the fuck going on tell your story let them hear it from the horse's mouth because if anybody watching me you're gonna hear it from the horse's mouth this is my story and i'm true I'm honest. I'm real. I'm authentic. I ain't got a sugar coat. Nothing. I ain't got a fake shit. You either gonna like it or, or whatever. Hate me or love me. But I'm me at the end of the day. This the real me. I heard that song uh, by Moneybag Yo. Uh, real me. <laughs> what he say? This right here the real me. I had, I had to make them folks feel me. Something like that. <laughs> i don't know i just heard that song y'all anyway um uh, 
And shit, 2023, you might finna make some folks feel you because people probably slept on you. You know what I'm saying? This your year to shine. You was rebuilding yourself. You might have went through some shit, but 2023, you finna pop out, okay? You gotta make folks feel you, okay? But anyway, that's all I got for you all. I hope this resonated in some way. Bye.